I once again welcome you all on the session on the herbal drug technology. Today we are going to start the new beat that is the herbal cosmetic. So let us move and we will see the content for the chapter herbal cosmetic. So we are going to discuss the points related to source and description of raw materials of herbal origin used via fixed oil, waxes, gums, colors, perfumes, protective agents, bleaching agents, antioxidants in products such as skin care, hair care, and oral hygiene products. So this is the content which is set for the chapter herbal cosmetics. More specifically, we are going to discuss the details of the skin cosmetics, hair cosmetics, and the oral hygiene products, along with the herbal raw materials like uh, fixed oil, waxes, gums, colors, perfumes, protective agents, bleaching agents, and the antioxidants. Let us move and uh, we will see the learning objective. Here I have set the two learning objectives. Very first one, that is you will be able to understand the use of herbs in skin care, hair care, and oral hygiene products. There are so many products are available in the market and uh, these are being prepared with the help of the certain herbs. Then the second objective, that is you will be able to describe the sources and description of raw materials of herbal origin. So these are the two learning objectives which I have set for the chapter herbal cosmetics. Let us move and we will see the introduction to the herbal cosmetics. Initially, we will discuss the definition of herbal cosmetics. Before that, let us see the what is the cosmetics, how the word is derived. So the cosmetics, it is the word derived from the Greek word cosm picos. So cosm picos, it is a Greek word from which the term cosmetics is derived, meaning having the power, arrange, skill in the decorating. That is nothing but simply the cosmetics. Let us see the definition of the cosmetics according to Drug and Cosmetics Act. Maybe you have learned the D and C app in the pharmaceutical jurisprudence. So cosmetics is an any article or a preparation intended to wrap, pour, sprinkled, or spread on, or introduced to, or applied to any part of human body for cleaning, perfuming, beautifying, promoting attractiveness, or altering the appearance and includes any article intended for use as a component of the cosmetic. That is nothing but a cosmetic act per the drug and cosmetic act. So simply, we are using these products for cleaning, for protection, for altering, for beautification, and so on. When the, we reach to the term herbal cosmetic, here, we are using certain herbal component to get the certain benefit to the skin, to the hair, or the oral hygiene. In such cases, it is said to be the herbal co cosmetic. We are using over here the phytoconstituent, which are derived from the certain herb. So use of various permissible cosmetic ingredients to form the base in which one or more herbal ingredients are used to provide defined cosmetic benefit only, it's called as the herbal cosmetic. Simply to get the cosmetics, we are using the herbal material, which is to be mixed into the certain bases, isn't it? In such cases, it is said to be the herbal cosmetic. Let us see the, what is the use of cosmetics, for what purpose, we are using the cosmetics. Cosmetics may be used for cleaning. It may be used for the perfuming, 
it is going to be used to change the appearance yes various uh, colored cosmetics are available in the market isn't it so it is possible to change the appearance it is going to be used for the protection say for example sunscreens to get the protection from the sun rays then to maintain the good condition say for example skin protective or the cosmetics related to skin then to correct the body odor so these are the sum of the uses of the cosmetic let us see the application of the cosmetic in which area in which organ where we are applying these cosmetics very first one the cosmetics are being applied to the skin mainly on the epidermis then it is going to be applied to the hairs it is going to be applied to the nails it is going to be applied to the lips it is going to be applied to the teeth it is going to be applied to the mucous membrane of oral cavity so these are the application of the cosmetics mainly or broadly if you can see the cosmetics are applied to the skin hair and the oral mucosa or to maintain the oral hygiene let us see the further details about the cosmetics herbal cosmetics let us see the type of plants derived ingredient used in the herbal cosmetics which types of the ingredient mainly used to prepare the cosmetics either these are the fresh material obtained from the herb or these are the dried material of the herb or a cellular product say for example oils resins gums oils say for example almond oil gums say for example acacia xanthan gum guar gum then the infusions decoctions or extracts made from the herb or the processed extract or the pure isolated compound pure isolated compound that is also known as the phytoconstituents which are being separated from the herb so these are the materials herbal materials or herbal things which we are going to use to prepare the herbal cosmetic let us move towards the advantages of herbal cosmetics no doubt there are wide variety of the cosmetics are available in the market but when before the application of any cosmetic to the skin we have to suppose to perform the patch test am i right we have to suppose to perform the patch test when we are reaching to the herbal cosmetic there is no need to to do the sudden they are these types of the test because they are safe so with this let us see the advantages of herbal cosmetics as whatever the herbal cosmetics are there they are derived from the natural products and you know that the natural products doesn't show any of the major side effects like a synthetic one then they are safe to use and effective as compared to the synthetic materials they are suitable for all skin types whatever the skin type is there whether it is a dry or whatever it may be it is a suitable then they doesn't exert any side effect they are free from the side effects they are free from the synthetic toxic chemicals we are trying to prepare these cosmetics with the help of herbs only isn't it take example of a beeswax whether it is a synthetic or natural it is a natural yes which is being collected from the honeycomb isn't it it is having a natural source if we are using the beeswax to prepare the cold cream it becomes a natural right then all these uh, herbal cosmetics they are environment friendly they are inexpensive and as such the animal testing it is not required so these are the some of the advantages of the herbal cosmetics let us see the
types of the herbal cosmetic which types of the how to classify the herbal cosmetic broadly it is uh, going to be classified into the three types uh, very first type that is known as the cosmetics for the skin care the second type that is known as the cosmetics for the hair care and third type it is uh, known as the cosmetics for the oral hygiene or it is said to be the others as per the slide in the case of uh, very first one that is the cosmetics for the skin care furthermore it is uh, divided into the or it is categorized as the skin cleanser moisturizer nourisher antiseptic emollient sunscreen anti wrinkle and anti acne so we are preparing the certain products which are going to be used as the skin cleanser which are going to be used as a moisturizer and so on so in this way it is possible to categorize the the herbal cosmetics for the skin care let us see the cosmetics for the hair care so furthermore the cosmetics for the hair care it is uh, divided as the detergents conditioner nourisher hair colorant hair growth promoter and the anti dandruff so these are the some of the preparations uh, it, it is possible to prepare with the help of the herbs for the hair care then the last category that is known as the others or the more specifically the preparations for the oral hygiene so others furthermore classified as the colors and the perfume so colors and perfume which are going to be used in the each and every type of the cosmetic isn't it so here it is possible to uh, derive possible to get the certain colorants as well as the perfume from the natural sources furthermore the oral care there are so many preparations are there available in the market which are going to be prepared or which are being prepared with the help of the certain herb say take example of the toothpaste take example of the mouth wash take example of the gargle and so on so in this way it is possible to classify the herbal cosmetic let us see the details of the each and every type of the herbal cosmetic for the skin care hair care and the oral hygiene so very first one the herbal cosmetic for the skin care so herbal cosmetics for skin care as you know that the skin it is constantly exposed to the dirt microorganisms certain irritants radiation and the toxins and these parameters they are going to affect the skin and that's why there is a need to use the certain cosmetics for the skin for the protection isn't it so the furthermore the skin care products are going to be used for the protection for the cleansing for the restoring the tone of the skin then for soothing effect for nourishment of skin for moisturizing the skin for preventing the tanning of the skin and to prevent the aging wrinkle and the scar formation along with the prevention of the acne so these are the some of the uses of the herbal skin care products let us see the some of the examples of the herb along with their category so in the case of the skin cleanser preparation of skin cleanser we are using the milk then herbs like a cucumber citrus peel and the aloe so the citrus peel then the cucumber and the aloe they are having the clean they are having the skin cleansing property the second category that is the moisturizer they are going to maintain the moisture level in the skin 
so the examples of the herbs which are going to be used like aloe vera almond oil and the rose then the nourishers for example honey carrot peach and the wheat germ oil they are going to act as a nourisher then the antiseptic there are certain herbs are there they are having the antiseptic properties for example neem turmeric tulsi and the lavender oil they are used to prepare certain antiseptic cream then the as a soothing agent there are certain herbal materials like uh, sesame oil almond oil or the aloe vera they are going to be used for for the for getting the soothing action on the skin then uh, there are certain herbs are there they are going to protect the skin from the sun rays for example aloe vera chamomile calendula and uh, cucumber there are certain herbs are there they are having the anti wrinkle properties they are going to remove the fine lines from the skin the examples are peach licorice papaya aloe vera apricot and the turmeric that is the anti wrinkle then anti acne for example cucumber gel and the vetiver so these are the some of the herbal materials which are going to be used to prepare the cosmetics for the skin care let us see the details of the each and every type of the skin cosmetic along with their herbal example very first category that is the cream all of you are aware about the cream these are the emulsions either o by w type of emulsion or the w by o type of emulsion these creams are being applied topically isn't it their function might be differ the function is depend on the type of ingredient which is used in the formulation okay the first type of cream that is the known as that is a herbal cream that is known as the herbal cold cream as you know that in the case of uh, preparation of herbal cold cream generally we are we are preparing the w by o type of emulsion after application they are going to elect the cooling sensation and that's why it is said to be the cold cream mainly these creams are being prepared with the help of beeswax borax system so beeswax it is having a natural origin isn't it furthermore we are using the olay oil water and rose oil rose oil may be the perfume furthermore the cold creams are being used as and emollient they are having the emollient properties and they are designed to smooth the skin and remove the makeup so this is about the herbal cold cream the example of herbal cold cream is honey and almond cold cream and the second example is aloe vera cold cream right so aloe vera they are having certain skin benefits then honey as well as the almond oil they are also having certain skin benefits so it is possible to prepare the herbal cold cream with the help of honey almond and the aloe vera there are so many other herbals are also available or maybe marketed preparations are also available which are being prepared with the herbal material the second type of cream that is known as the vanishing cream here we are using the o by w type of base to prepare the cream it is known as a vanishing because after application it is going to be vanished from the skin and that's why it is said to be the vanishing cream right these are the o by w type of emulsion mainly prepared by using the glycerin ferric acid triethanolamine lanolin then the certain herbal materials like uh, jojoba extract water preservatives and the perfume here we are using the base as a stearic acid isn't it which is going to be reacted with the 
triethanolamide. So furthermore, it is going to form the O by W type of the emulsion. The vanishing creams are good for the dry skin and it is used as an emollient and the moisturizer. The use of vanishing creams are as an emollient and the moisturizer. For example, chamomile vanishing cream and the turmeric vanishing cream. Maybe the turmeric vanishing cream, it is having the antiseptic properties. They are going to be used to prevent the acne and might be so many other applications are also there. So this is about the vanishing cream. So on this slide, we have discussed the two herbal creams, that is the cold cream and the vanishing cream. Let us move further. So next type of cream that is known as the herbal night cream. So herbal night cream itself name indicates that it is being applied at a night and that's why it is said to be the night cream. And we are incorporating the herb, that's why it is said to be the herbal night cream. So it consists of revitalizers, moisturizers and skin rejuvenating nutrients. The agents or the herbs which are being used to prepare the herbal night creams are the crab apple, wheat, lemon, white lily and the tomato. These are the some of the basic herbal materials which are going to be used to prepare the herbal night cream. They are going to help to calm and soothe the skin for overnight. The examples of the herbal night cream are white lily and tomato night cream. So this is about the herbal night cream. Let us see the herbal nourishing cream. Herbal nourishing cream mainly comprises the ingredients like the aloe vera, Indian kino tree, then ashwagandha, gotu cola, liquid paraffin, glycerin, BHT, sodium EDTA, Phenoxy, ethanol, and the methyl paraben. Here, the BHT is the antioxidant butylated hydroxy solute. EDTA is the ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. And whatever the previous one, all these are the herbal materials which are going to be used to prepare the nourishing cream. They are going to nourish the skin, right? They are going to protect and moisturize the skin. The example of the nourishing cream is almond nourishing cream. So this is about the nourishing cream. Let us see the next type of the herbal cream that is known as the moisturizer cream. So moisturizer cream, these are applied to the dry skin mainly as they are going to heal and repair the dry skin and maintain the softness of skin. They are going to maintain the skin hydration by reducing the evaporation. So the moisturizer creams are going to be applied to the dry skin and they are going to maintain the hydration of the skin. Furthermore, they are going to prevent the drying of the skin. So mainly it comprises the aloe vera gel, tocopherol, chamomile extract, beeswax and the coconut oil. So these are the some of the basic components which are present in the moisturizer cream. For example, aloe vera moisturizer cream. The next type of cream that is known as the anti-acne cream. So itself name indicates that they are going to be used to prevent the acne. They are going to be used to reduce the inflammation and furthermore, they are also going to act as an astringent. These creams act on the hair follicle and the sebaceous gland. The key ingredients which are present in the anti-acne cream are lentil, silk cotton tree, then vitex, negundo. These are the, some of the basic ingredients which are going to be used in the anti-acne cream along with the neem and turmeric also. The examples are the neem anti-acne cream. The next type of cream that is known as the sunscreen cream. So as you know that the sunscreens are the agents which are going to 
protect the skin from the sun rays so the sunscreen cream used to protect the skin from the harmful effects of the sun rays right they act either by scattering of the sunlight or by absorbing the erythematous rays of the sun the key ingredients which are present in the sunscreen are aloe vera fat soluble walnut extract beeswax and hydrogenated resinous oil for example aloe vera neem and almond sunscreen cream so this is about the sunscreen cream the next type of cream that is known as the anti wrinkle cream so itself name indicate that these types of the creams they are going to prevent the wrinkles they are going to reduce the aging effect on the skin so used for delaying the wrinkles and reducing the already present fine lines on the skin these creams prevent the oxidative damage of the skin and thereby reduces their aging the main ingredient present in the anti wrinkle cream are aloe vera papaver rhoes whites venifera solarium lycopersicum and uh, santalum album so these are the some of the basic ingredients which are present in the anti wrinkle cream for example aloe vera and grapes anti wrinkle cream so this is about the anti wrinkle cream let us see the fairness cream so fairness cream are used to increase the glow of the skin to use to reduce the melanin formation as well as the skin pigmentation so skin pigmentation is going to be reduced melanin formation which is responsible for skin pigmentation it is also going to be reduced the main ingredient which are present in the fairness creams are the rosa centifolia citrus reticulata and the aloe vera so this is about the fairness cream so here we we have finished the types of herbal cream and their ingredients herbal ingredients used to prepare the herbal cream let us see the herbal powder there are wide range of the herbal powders are available in the market for example herbal dusting powder herbal talcum powder herbal body powder after bath powder after shave powder and uh, baby powder the examples of the herbal powders basic ingredient which is present in the herbal powder that is a talc and apart from these certain perfumes and certain herbs which are present in the herbal powder say for example mint it is going to be used in the powders to get the cooling sensation or the cooling effect for example antiseptic sandal mint and aloe vera powder so this is about the herbal powder let us see the herbal face pack so herbal face pack these are going to be applied to the face to stimulate blood circulation in a facial region provide muscle toning and make the facial skin supple elastic and clean clogged skin pore by removing the impurities mainly it is used to clean the skin used to improve the blood circulation right so here we are using the ingredients herbal ingredients like neem fuller's earth and turmeric which are going to be used to prepare the herbal face pack for example cucumber face pack or the neem face pack next type of the herbal formulation for skin care is the herbal leaf balm maybe everyone or all of you are aware about the leaf balm as well as the lipstick leaf balm is certain certainly different than that of the lipstick isn't it so the leaf balm they are going to be used on the leaves to prevent them from the cracking chapping and the drying isn't it and lipstick are lipsticks are used for the beautification that is the main purpose of lipstick so don't mix it so leaf balms are used on the leaves to prevent them from the cracking chapping and drying they contain the ingredients that act as a natural filter to uv rays and also it contains the vitamin e to provide nourishment and the softness to the lips for example neem stick or the 
orange lip balm. So this is about the herbal lip balm. Let us see the herbal lipstick. Yes, the lipsticks are also available in the form of, uh, or they are going to be also prepared with the help of the certain herbs. The basic components which are present in the lipsticks are the waxes and the bromo mixture along with the castor oil. So these are applied on the lips for the beautification purpose. It contains the properties to help keep the color in a place for hours without drying the lips. That is the main purpose of the lipstick. The herbal lipsticks comprises the green tea, chamomile, ginseng, ginkgo biloba, aloe vera, along with the vitamin E, which help to improve the lip surface and reduce the appearance of fine lines. So whatever the fine lines which are present on the leaf, which are going to be reduced with the help of the these some of the herbal materials. So this is about the herbal lipstick. So let us see the last formulation type that is known as the herbal soap. Yes, there are so many herbal soaps are available in the market for their beneficial effects. Say for example, neem herbal soap. Right. So they are used basically for cleaning the body, generally made up of the mixtures of the fatty acids and which is uh, treated with the alkali metal, potassium hydroxide or the sodium hydroxide. Basically, fatty acids used in the formulation of soaps are the triglycerides such as the tallow, coconut oil or the palm oil. The examples of the herbal material which are going to be used to prepare the herbal soap are lemon, honey, neem, tulsi, coffee, and the milk. Milk, it is not, no doubt, it is not from the herb, but it is a natural, right? So this is about the herbal soap. Let us move towards the herbal hair care product, herbal hair cosmetic, right? For what purpose? We are using the hair cosmetics. So they are going to be used to improve the hair complexation, used to color the hair, used to style the hair. So these are the, some of the basic things we are considering when we are designing the hair care products. And which is having a great role in the physical appearance of the human being. So hair care preparations are applied topically to the scalp or the hair. So these contain the ingredients which either clean, condition or nourish the hairs or prevent the dandruff formation. So purpose of hair care preparations are the cleaning, conditioning, nourishing or the removal of dandruff from the scalp and hair. Right. Let us see the examples of the certain herbal materials which are going to be used to prepare the herbal hair cosmetics. The very first one that is the detergents. So detergents basically prepared with the help of herbal materials like uh, shikekai, ritha, or the soap nerd. They are having the ability to form a soap. They are having the ability to clean the hair. They are having the ability to conditioning the hair. Then the conditioner, say for example, henna, it is also being used as a coloring agent. Then the amla, then the hibiscus and the rosemary. So they are uh, these herbal materials are going to be used as a conditioner in the, in the herbal hair formulation. Then the nourishers, so these nourishers are going to be used to nourish the hairs the examples of the herbal materials which are going to be used as a nourisher, for example, Brahmi, then the Bringaraj, then the eggs, coconut oil, and the sesame oil. Then the hair colorant, Henna, it is a, one of the good herbal source to color the hairs. Then the hair growth promoter, for example, Brahmi, Hibiscus, coconut oil, amla, and uh, sesame oil. There are certain herbs are there. 
either they are going to remove the dandruff or they are going to prevent the formation of a dandruff for example soap nut shikekai lemon thymi and uh, aloe vera so these are the certain herbal materials which are going to be used in the hair care products herbal hair care products let us see the details of the herbal products very first one that is the hair gel the gels are basically prepared with the help of the polysaccharide it might be synthetic it might be semi synthetic or it may be the natural one so these are used for hair styling as they make hair manageable easy to handle and reduce their tendency to fly flying tendency of hair it is going to be reduced with the help of the hair gel for example perum hair gel or the clo hair gel the second type of preparation that is known as the herbal shampoo there are so many uh, herbal materials are there they are having ability to form a foam or a soap and they are going to give the cleaning action they are going to be used as a conditioner nourisher and with the help of these ingredients it is possible to prepare the herbal shampoo so herbal shampoo basically used for the cleaning of hairs contain unique blend of a herbal ingredient for example lime shampoo then methi shikakai shampoo methi shikakai shampoo it is being used as a anti dandruff let us see the next type of the herbal hair formulation that is the herbal hair color so the herbal hair color preparation used to cover up the gray hairs or as a style statement maybe some people they are going to color the hairs as a style statement example henna henna is a good natural coloring agent for the hairs then herbal hair oils they are going to provide the nourishment to the scalp and hair root and impart lustrous texture to the hair for example hibiscus brahmi methi almond these are the certain basic ingredients which are going to be used to prepare the herbal hair oil then the herbal hair conditioner they are going to use to condition the hair by moisturizing them temporarily so we are moisturizing the hair temporarily with the help of the herbal hair conditioner the examples of the herbal hair conditioner avocado hair conditioner and wheat hair conditioner so this is about the herbal hair conditioner let us see the last category that is known as the other hygiene products maybe i have listed here the perfumes colors and or oral care products the very first one perfumes each and every cosmetic it comprises the perfume and almost so so many perfumes they are going to be obtained from the natural sources all these are the volatile oils obtained from the plants like rose lavender jasmine and the sandalwood they are also having the certain medicinal benefits or the health benefits then the coloring agents there are so many natural coloring agents are there which are going to be used to beautify the hairs and the skin and the last herbal preparation for the hygiene that is the oral care products so oral care products like a toothpaste tooth powders mouth washes gargles and the mouth freshener these are the some of the preparations which are being prepared with the help of certain herbal material take example of a miswa yes miswa it is a having a natural source isn't it take example of a neem neem oil or neem products they are being used to prepare certain toothpaste or tooth powders so various herbs and their extracts are used to achieve the antimicrobial antiseptic anti plaque anti inflammatory and the mouth freshening property right the examples of the herbal materials which are going to be used to prepare the products related with the oral hygiene for example neem mentha chamomile sage 
mir nutmeg phytosan calendula rosemary and so on so this is about the oral care product so in this session we have discussed the definition of cosmetic we have seen the definition of herbal cosmetics furthermore we have discussed the types of the herbal cosmetics that is a herbal cosmetics for skin care herbal cosmetics for the hair care and uh, herbal cosmetics or herbal products for the oral hygiene along with the an introduction to the herbal cosmetics thank you very much